Today we are going to see how to organize uh, the income statement accounts and uh, if you look at the chart of accounts that that has been provided you will see that there are some accounts that are already available there travel cost advertising and promo amortization amortization is the other name for depreciation expense bank charges and interest insurance interest occupancy cost occupancy cost is the other name of rent expense professional fees repairs and maintenance so these are the accounts that are already available there i don't need to add them we might need to uh, edit them a little bit uh, but that's all we don't need to add uh, the new account we don't add, we don't need to add them as a new account so let's see the revenue accounts customized training and general training so the revenue accounts that we have here is called sales so if you select this sales account and click on the right click on this and the new income continue and then just uh, write uh, type in the name it's called customized training save and close and then we need to add one more account under revenue which is called general training again select sales and then right click or you can just rename this sales account as general training either one is okay general training okay so we have customized training we have general training both under income and cost of goods sold so you see uh, workers compensation premium is the uh, cost of goods sold under cost of goods sold we need four accounts one of them is there which is travel cost we need to add the other three so just right click uh, new cost of goods sold again so other account type you see cost of goods sold continue and then type in the name which is called course material course material purchased save and close the other one is called internal material printing cost other account type cost of goods sold and then internal material printing cost save and close one more we need which is a subcontract we can just rename these as subcontract because we don't need this WCB account. So edit and then we can just rename it as subcontract. So we have our revenue account, cost of goods sold account. Now see the other expense account. So we need bad debt expense. We don't have any bad debt expense. So we can just uh, uh, add one new account uh, select any expense account and then click right click on new and then expense category continue and then type in the name called bad debts save and close we need donations same thing right click and then expense account continue and then type in the name donations save and close we need a uh, meals and entertainment so we have one meals and entertainment account so we can just rename it or edit it little bit uh, by giving it a zero percent zero percent so click on the same select the same account and then right click new new and then expense continue and then type in meals and entertainment 50% save and close we need one more which is 100% expense continue meals and entertainment 100% save and close so we have all these meals account let's add uh, the OSS accounts so if you look at these 
you will see some payroll expense here you know select this account and then right click new and then expense uh, which is payroll expense so uh, continue wages and salaries and it's called salaries okay so that's one of them the other one is similarly you just uh, select this and then right click new expense continue and then wages and benefits next one is cpp expense cpp expense save and close similarly right click expense continue wages and benefits ei expense save and close and then holiday pay expense new expense continue and then wages and benefits holiday pay expense save and close so these are all done and now we have uh, a couple of other non-operating income and expense account we can just add them under expense so just any any expense account you can click on this ask my accountant and then new you can just add expense uh, name is interest income interest income so depending on the debit or credit it will go uh, it will be treated as income or expense. So the other one is uh, gain or loss on disposal. Again, expense, gain loss on disposal. Gain loss on disposal. Okay, the last one is income taxes expense. So right click, expense income taxes expense now we are going to enter the opening balances uh, for all the accounts except a couple of accounts uh, we are not going to enter the opening balance for accounts receivable control accounts payable control and retained earnings in quickbooks uh, to do the uh, to enter the opening balances we do uh, a general journal entry uh, we can do a single entry and or we can do a couple of entries no problem so we are going to try to do a single entry so company and then make general journal entries the date of the general journal entry should be November 30th November 30th okay entry number one so account you see account the first account is our cash account our balance is 200,000 200,000 sorry 200,000 the next account is term deposit we don't have any balance accounts receivable control we are not going to enter inventory uh, okay inventory inventory 10,000 so again delete it the next account you see uh, if you look at uh, accumulated depreciation of building accumulated depreciation of building is, uh, is here and then it has a credit balance so we are going to put it on the credit side 22125 and building account has a balance of building account has a balance debit balance of 300000 so i'm entering all the opening balances for the accounts we have this amount this is the differential amount between debit and credit 238 952 remember that we have not entered the opening balance
access controls payable control accounts receivable control and retained earnings so we have this difference so this one is actually your retained earnings okay so now debit and credit equals so we can now so all the accounts you know we have we have entered in the right column if it is a debit columns and we entered it in the debit column if it is a credit balance we entered on, on the credit column so everything looks all right so we're going to click on save and close done Now we are going to add the opening balances for accounts receivable. There are two customers that owe us uh, those amount. One is Acutax. Let's add uh, Acutax as, as one of the customer. So go to customer center. And then new customer, new customer, Acutax, and then opening balance is 8400 as of november 30th okay the next customer is real amusements so real amusements they owe us 6300 dollar as of november 30th okay if we uh, look at the accounts payable subsidiary laser we can see there are two vendors that owe us uh, that we owe money uh, to those vendors are called uh, are named one is called one is called uh, d2c corporation so new vendor new vendor and D2 D2C Corporation and we owe them 12,600 as of November 30th the other vendor is Marsar Incorporated Are incorporated and we owe them $320 as of November 30th. So we have entered the opening balances for our accounts uh, payable control and accounts receivable control. Now let's look at uh, the trial balance reports and uh, go to accounting accountant and taxes and then trial balance and then select the date as of november 30th or you can just uh, click here dates and then you can just click on all then it is going to show you everything so you will see that there are uh, two things so accounts payable control is there that's good accounts receivable control is there now you're going to see these two accounts uncategorized income and uncategorized expense uncategorized expense so we don't have those accounts we don't need those so we need to zero them out and then put the difference in the retained earnings account and then everything will be all right so again go to company uh, general journal november 30th and uh, uncategorized expense there was a there was a uh, balance of 12980 that was an that was an that was a debit balance so we need to credit it and then uncategorized income we had a, a credit balance of 14700 we need to debit it so to zero them out there is a difference of 1780 that goes into retained earnings and then save and close yes yes 
everything looks all right so refresh it so you see your retained earnings is 240 732 everything is there all the accounts are all right so you are good to go you are good to enter all your transactions starting december 1st thank you